The traditional carriers have emulated low-cost carriers in many respects. They've brought their costs under control in many, many ways, uh, and they have improved the overall efficiency of what they do, uh, which was uh, essentially uh, no choice given the underlying construct of what's going on in the business for everyone, uh, whether LCC or uh, legacy, uh, with very, very high fuel costs, increasing airport costs, increasing taxes, and uh, very little increase in incomes, uh, the opportunity to grow the business by simply looking at a larger revenue pie has been minimized so the quality and value of what people offer uh, have to be very, very strong and we've seen this across the board. Well, I, I would call it full service airlines rather than traditional airlines. We are a network carrier and our network and organization is geared to have an optimal process in order to connect passengers from one place via Amsterdam to anywhere in the world. But we do have adopted some of the measures low-cost carriers were doing in terms of shorter turnaround, densification, but moreover adjusting our product much more to the needs of our customers and to be sure that the needs of our customers are central in the product we offer and as such offer them choice and control of their journey. Well, they are uh, making a little bit of a hybridation. I don't know if it's a right word uh, to say that they are mixing the classical model of uh, full service with uh, something uh, coming from the low cost. Especially I'm thinking about uh, all the web uh, possibility. Uh, they are developing uh, more and more uh, the websites in order to be more transparent uh, to passengers and they are also uh, thinking of unbundling a little bit their um, fares so the passengers uh, can always uh, find a lower price uh, even in a full service uh, airline. Well, and interestingly, uh, in Africa, uh, the other carriers are really struggling to cope with our pricing mechanisms. Their, their, their yield management processes seem to be somewhat scattergun, um, and they're relying on loyalty programs and, and loyalty of their brand, which is fairly easy to erode. So um, we've, we've, we've tackled the, the market by going in very hard with a very strong communication process. We engage our customers, we stimulate the market with very, very low fares. And to give you an order of magnitude, our main competitor on a route to Kilimanjaro was $280 and our leading fare is $20. So clearly quite a, quite a market stimulating fare. Um, and it seems to be working, uh, just short of 40% of our passengers in the first six months are brand new to aviation, had never been on an aeroplane before and for their travel requirements tended to either rely on uh, coaches, long arduous bus journeys uh, or not going at all, not travelling at all. Oh, it's a um, long process, uh, it started a couple of years ago, mm, generally legacy carriers are uh, picking up the best practices which were uh, successful in a low-cost carrier's environment and they, they convert themselves a bit uh, towards some kind of hybrid solutions which uh, give them uh, a few benefits. Mm, the one most important is of course uh, saving on a cost side. Thanks to this they can be more competitive uh, price-wise and respectively they uh, deliver product which is expected uh, by the market or sub-market.